Welcome back to IELTS Face Off Nightly. This is IELTS Expert, and we will have a chance to ask our resident IELTS guru about what will be rewarded and what will be penalized in the test. So without further ado, let's welcome back Miss Mel Havinson. Hey. Hello. You, you've really mastered the entrance. Thank you. It's, I work on my wave. Yeah. You know, I think it's being British. It's part of our natural heritage. <laughs> Very uh, queenish. <laughs> Thank you. We try. Okay, so we just watched a fascinating video about the Kachaput uh, forest. Uh, are you familiar with this type of trees? I'm not at all. It's been really interesting to learn more. Okay, so I heard that they plant this, tr uh, this type of uh, tree as, you know, some sort of flood defense system. And I'm not sure British people do the same thing in terms of flood defense. Well, you just we build do. A dam. <laughs> <laughs> we, we do have a lot of flooding in the UK, yeah. and it continues to be a problem. Oh, really? Um, but there are different responses to that depending on the area. Okay. Yeah. Is planting trees one of those things? It is, um, and also having better drainage systems, um, especially on the marshlands where we have a lot of farms. It doesn't matter how many trees you are, because the land is lower, it's going to flood okay. automatically. Um, so there's different defenses that they can use. Okay. So let's look at uh, this week's uh, IELTS trivia. Do I get points deducted for wrong answers? I'm assuming this is regarding the listening test. Okay. So uh, obviously, I think it is pretty clear uh, what, get, uh, what gets penalized in the writing and the speaking tests. But uh, an often asked question is uh, whether you know you should attempt you know a question if you don't know the exact answer to it. So let's see what our viewers think. All right. So the answer is no. You do not get points deducted for wrong answers. Um, I think uh, it is a terrible shame to see like an answer sheet with a couple of spaces blank. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yes. And I'd always recommend that students have a guess, especially if it's multiple choice. If the answer could be A, B, C, or D, just guess. Yeah. Don't take time away from the rest of the questions. Mm -hmm. Don't take too much time away from corrections. If you really don't know, just have a go-to letter and tell yourself, I'm always going to guess B. Yeah. And guess something, absolutely.